Hello, my name is Zach Edwards, and I would like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today's session will show you how to set up Trimble Positions real-time settings for ArcPad 10.x. Now I've launched ArcPad, and I want to confirm the GPS preferences settings underneath the satellite symbol on the main menu in ArcPad. We're going to confirm the protocol is the Positions ArcPad extension. And that our port is COM3, which is the internal port on the Geo7X. And then we want to confirm our baud rate is 9600, 8, 1, and none. And lastly, we want to confirm our height of instrument, which is 1.2 meters on the Geo7X monopole. And now we want to confirm our Trimble Positions ArcPad extension settings. We're going to want to go into the setup screen and confirm our logging settings first. We are logging to SSF as a backup in case the real time fails. And our antenna height is 1.2 meters as set in ArcPad. Within the GNSS settings, we want to confirm that we're showing our accuracy in the field since this is a real-time demonstration and not post-processed. Hit done. And now we want to confirm, lastly, our real-time settings. Right now it's set to the default, which is uncorrected GNSS. We could choose Omnistar or SBAS or external source. In this example, we will be choosing external source for real-time decimeter corrections. If you were using SBAS, you would probably choose a higher real-time age limit of two minutes. But for an external source, to ensure higher accuracy, we want 15 seconds, the lowest denominator. We'll click the wrench, change from single base, which is the default, to VRS. And the connection method will be internet. I'm going to key in the IP address to the Trimble VRS now on the Colorado Front Range and change the port to the proper correction port. And then we're going to choose the wrench here and we'll want to specify the RTCM31 corrections or the CMRX corrections. These are two recommended corrections based on our testing. And then click Done. You'll want to key in your NTRIP username and password for the VRS network in this case. And then we'll want to look at the connection control. And this is typically defaulted to auto, but we recommend a manual setting here. And then done. On this next menu, we'll want to click done as well and wait for our real-time corrections to come in.
and we'll want to go to Setup and Receiver to confirm our real-time corrections. You can see that we're receiving corrections and our accuracies are dialing down. Now we're going to go into Receiver and confirm that we're receiving carrier corrections. And lastly, we're going to go back into the ArcPad application, click on the green bar at the bottom, the position bar, and confirm that we're receiving DGPS 3D corrections, which is how ArcPad indicates the real-time corrections coming in via the VRS. This concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk on real-time settings in Trimble Positions ArcPad extension with an ArcPad 10.x. Hopefully you found this beneficial and you'll join us next time. Thanks for joining.